Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Verbling. I am Teacher Oakley. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are. In today's class, uh, I welcome all levels to join me. We're going to try an exercise in problem solving. We're going to talk a little business today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to imagine that we are the management team of a hotel. Okay, we have a hotel on the beach and we've got problems, we've got issues, we've got difficulties, and as a class we're going to solve them together. Uh, hello, Marta. Hello. How are you today? I'm um, fine, thank you. Are you? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. And where are you from? I'm from Italy. Okay, lovely. All right, uh, nice to have you with me. And uh, okay, Marta, are you are you uh, by any chance a hotel manager? <laughs> no, I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know. You might not want to be a hotel manager. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how it is. So. Okay. Well, for today, for the next hour anyway, you are a hotel manager. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss various problems that we're having at the hotel. Okay. All right. So, uh I'm just going to get started, and if others join us, terrific. So, okay, here is here's the here's the the problem. All right, you, meaning we, are the management staff of a large resort hotel. Lately, you've had a lot of problems. You must discuss these problems with the other managers. That's you, Marta, and then come up with solutions. The hotel is on an island surrounded by beautiful beaches, coral reefs, and mountains. It seems like the perfect place to have a hotel. However, we have problems. Here is our first problem. I'm going to do a screen share with you. Okay. Uh, Marta, can you see the screen? Yes. All right. Could you read this for me? Recently, the staff has noticed the tap water as a funny smell and the housekeepers as complaining about, about rust stains. Guests have also complained that the water is making them ill. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is not good. Okay. Marta, do you know what rust stains are? Uh, yes, when the oxygen... Uh, Mm, the corrosion. Of, the corrosion. Okay. Yes, of materials. Right. Uh, oxygen has an effect on iron. Yes. And it causes the iron to rust. So maybe there's iron in the water. Okay, Marta, do you have any suggestions? What can we do about the problem of the wa hotel water? Uh, maybe there is an infection in the water, so uh, it needs to be purified. Do you say purified? Okay. Now you said maybe there's a, an infection in the yes. water? Yes. Okay. Well, okay, let me just talk to you about English vocabulary. If I have a cut and it turns red, then maybe I have an infection. Okay. Um, if there's something wrong with the water, okay, water is contaminated. That okay? <laughs> that yes, exactly. That's exactly the word I was going to share with you. Contaminated. I mean, oh, good. My chap is working at least. Uh, okay, so yeah, it looks like the water's contaminated. How could we purify the water? Um, I think that there are several methods and I've read about 
some of these, but I can't remember all. I think that there is a method that uses uh, X-rays. Really? X -rays. Yes. In poor countries, uh, this is one of the, the most effective methods. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, Ayad. Outside the room, come on in and join us. Really, I had no idea. Can I ask you a question? Uh, <laughs> the water is contaminated. Um, okay, in does in Italy are there any problems with drinking water? Is there mm -hmm. any sh water shortages? Is there any? Do yeah, people I think that there might be some water shortages during summer in the south of Italy, but uh, here where I live, there are no, no problems at all. Okay. So you, can, you can drink the water from, from the, the water, you know, from the, um, the sink, I don't know, the tap, okay. maybe? From the tap, that's correct. Tap, yes. You can drink tap water. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm an American, Marta, but I'm from the Philippines, and here, almost, unless you live in the countryside, you don't drink water out of the tap. <laughs> okay. Definitely not. Uh, every neighborhood actually has a water purification station, and you buy big, big bottles of water, and everyone has a water dispenser, like you might see in an office. Everyone has has one here. It's very common. So, okay, we. Uh, so your suggestion for our imaginary hotel is that we uh, we should get a water purification system. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, what about uh, what about the iron in the water? What about the rust? Well, oh. <laughs> uh, this is a tough question for me. The the water. Uh, Actu actually, uh, we have a expression or a set phrase to describe when this happens. Mm -hmm. in, in English, we say we have hard water. Hard water. Hard water. If there's a lot of minerals, sediment, or especially m most often iron is usually the problem. We say we have hard water. And so we, we get, believe it or not, water softener. <laughs> to make the water softer. We can run it through a system of actually rock salt or other chemicals which will leach out or remove the iron. So, in other words, maybe we need a a pretty elaborate system. Can you think of any other possible solutions? Um, given, given our location, we're on an island with mountains surrounded by the ocean. Okay, and there is iron in the water. Um, I don't know. Maybe there is a source of iron in in the mountain in in under the, the ground and uh, uh, um, an underground uh, source of water has flown down to, to, to here, down to, to the valley and uh, it has brought this iron to, to, the, to the source of water that the hotel uses, maybe. Okay. It can be this. No. So maybe our business decision should be sell the hotel, <laughs> <laughs> open an iron mine. <laughs> no, make it independent. In uh, no, um, make uh, a source of water independent. You know. Ah, uh, independent. Okay. Yeah. Perhaps drill a new well or find yeah. another yes. water source completely. Okay. Interesting. Uh, another uh, recent 
technological breakthrough that I've heard about is actually purifying seawater or salt water. But apparently it's not exactly um, economical. It takes more energy to do that than other methods, but maybe someday. All right. Let's move on to our next problem. Okay, it looks like uh, our solution for the first problem, we're going to have to, basically in a real life decision, if really we're the managers of the hotel, we have to decide, well, what do you think we have to decide? Okay, we need, there are many purification systems. Okay, we we basically have agreed that we're gonna we're, we need a purification system, or that maybe we have to search for more water. If we're really in a business, the first thing we have to do is assign responsibility. Who's going to check water purification systems, or hire a company to do a groundwater search? I have a question for you, Marta. Yes. Back in the United States, we had these guys called dousers, okay? And they would hold a stick. It, the mm -hmm. stick was in the shape of a Y. And they would gently yeah. hold the... Uh, are you familiar with this? Uh, no, I, I, I've understood uh, what, 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 uh, okay. what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, and for some reason, they use a... a green tree, a young tree, a live tree, and they they make like a Y, they have a Y stick and they hold the ends and they walk around your property. And when the stick bends down, supposedly, there's water there. Yes. Have you ever heard of that? Uh, yes. I don't know uh, how, how did you define them? <sighs> I don't know either. <laughs> On the internet? I don't know. I have no idea. But perhaps we could get a water dowser. I know. Um, in Italian, uh, it is called rhabdomancy. I think that there might be a similar ah. rhabdo. Uh, I, I look it on, on what reference. <laughs> OK. Is, is the method the same? I'm just curious. Uh, yes. Okay. Interesting. All right. Anyway, in a real life business decision, one of us has to decide, or if there's more in the group, somebody has to take responsibility to find out prices and how much it would cost for either solution. Okay. Let's move on to our next problem. We have, an, uh, again, for those viewers just joining us, we have an imaginary hotel. We are the management team. And this hotel has some serious problems. Water divining. Yeah, that's it. Rabdomancy. Interesting. Water divining. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Very interesting. Uh, okay, here's our next problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Marta? Yes. All right. Would you mind reading this? Uh, in the neighboring village, there has been an outbreak of dengue, uh, no, dengue fever, a serious viral condition contracted from mosquitoes. Few guests have expressed concern. Okay. Have you ever heard of dengue, Marta? Uh, yes. Yes. I don't know which are the symptoms, I don't know what what the effects are, but I know that it is a viral disease. Okay. I'm sure you you I'm sure you do not have dengue in Italy, right? Yeah, yes. It's uh it's quite similar to malaria. Mm -hmm. Um actually again I I, as I I live in the Philippines now and in the Philippines, dengue is fairly common. There, are, and it comes in outbreaks. Nothing for six months, and then suddenly, fifty people get dengue. Um, all right, I'm gonna say hello to Narendra. Hello, 
Narendra? Hello? Yeah, I'm getting you, sir. Hello? Hello. Okay. I can hear you now. Hello. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Uh, yeah, I am getting you. Yeah, please answer. Okay. Where are you from, Narendra? Sir, I am from India, central part of India. Central part of India. Okay. Narendra. Yeah, yeah. Do people ever get dengue? Yes, sir. Do people ever get dengue? What, sir? Dengue from mosquitoes? Uh, hang on. They're not getting what are you saying? Okay. Uh, here, I'll write it in the chat box, okay? It's a type of disease. Dengue. It's a disease from mosquitoes kind of similar to malaria. Do you know malaria? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is me. Okay. All right. Do, do people in India get malaria? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, dengue is very similar. Uh, mosquitoes. You know, mosquitoes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Mosquitoes carry the disease. Okay, so we're imagining that we have a hotel. Very nearby, there is a dengue outbreak. All right, many people are getting sick with this virus. Uh, what can we do? To, what can we do about this? Do, do you have any idea, Narendra? Yeah, sir, we can maintain many safety, like uh, so we should maintain our clearness. We should, uh, we should keep our house and every place to clear. We should, should not throw any water. Uh -huh. Like, uh, hello? And uh, we should, uh, on so do not place any that thing like where uh, rent fall and collect. So we should maintain many security like uh, uh, for more safety, um, like lifts of tree. Also, we should uh, collect. I mean proper. Uh, okay. It can be maintained by proper, uh, proper channel. Okay, I, I don't think I don't. Your microphone is a little choppy. I didn't quite get everything, but I know one thing you said is very important. You you should not have standing water. Standing water, meaning yeah. not not yeah. running. No standing water anywhere. Uh, that's absolutely correct. Mosquitoes love to breed in standing water. All right. Let me uh, talk to Alberto. Hello, Albert. Alberto. Alberto. Um, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine. Fine. You? I'm, I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, Alberto, we yeah. are the management team. You and Marta and, uh, and Narendra and I and now Kansu. We're a management team for a hotel, okay? Yeah. We, we got some serious problems. The, the problem we're discussing is there's an outbreak of dengue, which is a virus caused by mosquitoes. What can we do about it? Uh, I think uh, there are uh, specialized enterprises uh, that kill them. That kill animals. That that animals. No? Okay. Five mosquitoes and so on. Ah. Okay. Are you talking about insecticides? Yeah. Insecticides. These are chemicals that we can spray. Okay. Around our hotel grounds. Okay. Yes. To to try to kill the population. Right. Yes. Okay. 
Is there a problem with that? Uh, Marta. Yes. Marta, what, what do you think? Uh, I think that uh, people who have already uh, contracted must be put into quarantine, and that uh, yes, I think that insecticides might be uh, a solution for um, for the for the tail. I mean, spraying around. Uh, and uh, eliminating every every kind of risk uh -huh. uh, may may let the virus proliferate. Okay, but uh, let me just remind everyone that we are the management of a hotel. If we start spraying chemicals all over the hotel, <laughs> I get a little upset. Actually. <laughs> Uh, I'm coughing, just thinking about it. Uh, actually, this is the place, it, it, because it, dengue is very common in the Philippines. That's the solution. They will often spray insecticides. God, you guys have no idea. It is horrible. You cannot breathe. If you accidentally breathe this stuff, it is horrible. It is horrible. So... In other words, we just spray insecticides. We could, if, but we have to make sure that the guests are somewhere, all right, in their room, right? The first most simple solution, actually, I kind of agree with Narendra, first is to take care of any standing water. Because remember, what, what's that, Narendra? I'm not getting what I'm saying. What? What? Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Narendra's taken away. Come back, Narendra. Uh, okay. All right. Don't have standing water. You, you, your mosquito problems are a, a lot less severe. Okay. Let's uh, talk about another problem here at the hotel. Oh, my goodness. All right. Alberto. Alberto. Yes. You, yes, teacher. Can you, can you and read about this problem? Yeah. Uh, I don't see the, the paper. Can you see that? No. Can you see that? No. No. Is it blurry or just not big enough? It's black. The screen is black. The screen is black? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, now. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I just got rid of it. Okay, hang on. Let me try again. <laughs> the screen is black. Okay. Yeah, now it's black. <laughs> yeah, that's complaints about the staff. Okay. Many guests say that the staff is rude and, and uh, hateful. The staff members with each other. Sometimes they swear at. I can see anymore. Okay, they swear at the managers. Yeah, at the managers. <laughs> Sometimes they, oh my. they swear at the managers. Oh my. Okay, this is a big problem. Our staff, our hotel staff, <laughs> swears at the managers and and are rude to the game. Wow. Wow. What can we do, Alberto? Alberto. Uh, we have to to have a discussion with with the staff and, and, and tell them that that uh, must be polite with the with the guests. Okay. Uh, all right. Alberto, polite. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Polite. Yeah, no, no, no problem. Uh, yeah, okay. Having a meeting with the staff, I, I think that's good, but I don't know if it's enough. I don't know. Marta, what do you think? Uh, I think 
that they should be threatened to be fired first during this meeting and yeah. if things don't change, if the situation remains the same, I think that uh, they should be fired, no, I mean that uh, other substitutes should be, um, you know, take on. Take okay. On. We should threaten the staff. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Who gets? Who wants to do this talk? Who wants to talk to the staff? Uh, oh, Marta. <laughs> who, wa who wants to be the? <laughs> Who's good at this? Are, Marta, are you good at disciplining staff? Uh, yes, I might be. <laughs> oh, what happened? Can you hear me? Either I'm frozen or everyone else is. Can you guys hear me? Yes, oh I can, goodness. but you can hear me. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Not sure okay. if you guys, are, sure frozen you guys are frozen or not. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the hopes that you can hear me, uh, all right. So we need to talk to the staff. I think we can all agree on that. We need to threaten them. But uh, usually, of course, when you're in business, and you and you need to you need to fire fire staff. Uh, you have to have a clear reason. You have to have documentation. Documentation, right? Right. Normally. Normally. So, uh, maybe we need to have some some system. Do you think? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Uh, Alberto. Yes. Alberto. Okay. Good. All right. So, uh, Alberto, what do you think? What do you think? Should we? Should we give them one o one warning only? Um, a warning and a written a written a written documentation. Something they have to sign. Should we suspend them for a week? A week, no pay. No pay. No pay. Hmm. What do you think? Yes. Well, it's uh, possible. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it could be a a, a right uh, a right uh, measure, but I don't know. Uh, it depends on the on the situation of the staff. Uh, mm. on the uh, I don't know. Alberto, can, let me ask you a question. If yeah. you're at your job, yes, uh, and where are you from, Alberto? Uh, from Spain. It's from Spain. Okay, yeah. so there you are there in, you Spain. Are, in Spain. If somebody, if somebody swears, swears at a manager, manager what happens? What happens? Well, the manager uh, become angry, and, and it's possible that. That he suspended you. Uh, that he suspends you. Okay. Yeah. A week or a day or. Okay. A week or a day. Okay. Marta, how about in Italy? What if somebody swears at the manager? Uh, I think that uh, you know the relationship is not so good, and uh, maybe they can be fired. Yes. Is, okay. Uh, chance. They can be fired. All right. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, in business, often we're going to detail exactly. Okay, you get one warning. You get three warnings. You get no warning. Instant. You're fired. You do this. You're fired. Obviously, there there are always things that. If you set the building on fire, you're fired. <laughs> if you if you murder the boss, you're fired. 
<laughs> but the problem, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There is a big problem, or there could be, because uh, then the, the hotel is uh, is without the staff. If you uh, you are finding all the staff, uh, then the guests are alone. Yeah. Very good. I was wondering if one of you guys would bring that up. Uh, right. Negotiate with the with the staff then. Right. We we really can't fire everyone. Because yeah. they're the business. Yeah, we're we're selling a service. So service yeah. means we have to have people. We're not selling ball pens. You know, we have a uh, we're selling service, which means we absolutely have to have people. So really, maybe there's something else we have to look at because that's a very good point. Maybe we have to see in the village which we mentioned earlier in the class, maybe we could see if there is, are a lot of potential employees. Maybe there's a lot of possible employees. We haven't discussed that. So, exactly, when it comes to firing employees, you also have to know, we also have to know what is the job market. Is it easy or difficult to find employees? We're on an island. Maybe there's no other business, and it's very easy. Maybe we're on a small island, and there's really no people there. So that depends. OK. Um, so that could be, this could be actually one of the most difficult problems. All right. Um, speaking of which, OK. Uh, let me just ask you one more related question. Marta? Mm -hmm. Marta? Yes. Uh, do you, are you currently working? Mm, yes, I'm working yeah. on a part-time. Okay, does your company make you sign a contract with all of their rules, the company rules? Is that is that common in it in Italy? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's just normal, right? I I think most Western companies that is. So you before you even work somewhere, you have to sign a contract. Now, uh, let me ask the same thing, Alberto. Uh, all right, Alberto, do you, Alberto, do you work somewhere? Do you work somewhere currently? No. Okay. One more related question. No, no. Okay. Okay. Um, but maybe you know anyway. Do you? Are you currently working? Wow. wow. Alberto, I'm getting a lot of echo. Okay. Does your company make you sign a contract with all of their rules? The company rules. Alberto. Alberto. If you have the verbaling window open. Please close, Please it, close because it because we hear everything we hear twice. twice. Yes. Okay. okay. Just close the verbal window, window and leave the hangout. And leave the hangout. All right. All right. Yes. That, that will get rid, of the, get echo, rid of the echo. Which I still hear. I still hear. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Okay. Okay. I'm still getting echo. Still getting echo. Range, range. Uh, Alberto, you Alberto, only have you the, only hangout have the hangout open. Yes, open? yes. I only have the hangout. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. What's going on here? It's odd. Okay. Okay. But my question, but my anyway, question anyway, in Spain. Spain. Yeah. Do most people have to sign a contract? contract. Uh. Which states things like how much, like you, make, how much you make, but also all the rules of the company. The company. Yes. Okay, so that's okay, normal. So that's normal. So that is one thing. one thing. If we have if discipline we have problems, problems, by the way, by the way, hmm. that's what we'd call that's them, disciplinary, call them disciplinary problem. Um, with our staff, we probably need to make sure they all have a contract. 
If they already have one, they need to understand it. If they don't, we need to make one so we can enforce it. Wow. Wow. A lot of echo. A lot of echo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Let's on, go to on to our next our problem. Our next problem. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marta, can you? Whoops. Yes. Can you read this one for us? Many things are broken. The roof leaks and many TVs in the room don't work. Sometimes there is no electricity or hot water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? Uh, we are going to call uh, many technicians in different fields uh, to, make, to fix things up. You know? Okay. Um, all right, one thing. With, with English, I don't know if we need technicians. In English, when we talk about technicians, we're talking about possibly computer-related things uh, okay. or uh, really sophisticated electrical devices or mechanical okay. devices. We need more simple, like, building people. For example... Okay. What is a what is what do you call somebody who fixes water um, or pipes and tap and uh, <laughs> you know uh, that word? Oh no, I know that word, but uh, you can't think of it. <laughs> yes, right now. Um, okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's uh, that guy is a plumber. Okay, a plumber fixes the water, uh, fixes the toilet, or, or whatever. All right, uh, a, a person who just fixes the electric, the lights, or uh, the outlets where you plug things in, or the switches. Okay. Oh, Marta, it's me and you again. Do you know what that guy is called? Uh, electrician. Very good, electrician. Uh, okay. Uh, how about somebody who fixes windows? And, whoops. I misspelled that. Uh, somebody who fixes part of the wall, something like that. Uh, car car carpenter. Carpenter, excellent. Uh, okay. Now, one of our problems was our TVs don't work. Yes. Who do we call? Uh, the electrician, of course. The electrician. Not necessarily. No? Okay. No, electricians don't usually know about the tubes or the different parts. Here you may call, uh, perhaps, this is where you might need it, some kind of technician or a TV repairman. Okay. Or maybe a TV technician. Now TVs are much more sophisticated, for example. All right. And actually, one of our problems was the roof leaks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's a trick question, Marta. Who do I call when the roof leaks? Uh, so, uh, I don't understand fully the word leaks. Roof. Ah, okay. The yeah. roof, okay, and the, up above my head, <laughs> the flat part is yeah. this. No, the, the word roof is, is yes, it's common, but okay. I roof. don't understand leak. Leak? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, a leak is when water slips out of something. Uh, okay. All right, if my, I have a cup here. If it leaks, water's dripping down out of the bottom. Okay. Oh, my so cup has a leak. when it rains, is a big problem. That's correct. It's a That's big right. problem. Okay. That's right. Uh, maybe you can. We can call uh, some carpenters at first to to uh, repair the roof because maybe uh, we should undergo some maintenance. 
that's the, the, the real problem. The roof is old, so uh, uh, there are some holes, uh, or the material uh, has been uh, corrupted and the water uh, leaks inside. Okay. All right. So perhaps a carpenter. And <laughs> we actually have a in the United States anyway, we, we actually have a specific word for the guy a that roofer. fits his roof. A roofer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can hire a roofer. Okay. Well, you know, I, in, in, I don't know about Italy or Spain. I have no idea. But in the United States, when somebody is building a house, for example, mm -hmm. um, carpenter is general there are different kinds of carpenters. Yes. We, ha we have the roofer who fixes the roof. We have the sheet rocker who puts that sheet rock, that flat stuff on the walls. That's all they do. We have um, Finnish carpenters and they build cabinets or uh, window sills. N not just the walls and the structure but Finnish carpenters do finish work. They they put in the rail on the balcony, or they do more intricate, complicated work, like cabinets and things like that. Okay. I see. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, the guys who just build the walls, they, they're called framers. <laughs> and in the United States, you have to get you have to hire. Oh, I'm going to have to hire two framers, two roofers, two sheet rockers, two... You have to hire specific specialists. Yeah. Is, is that the case in Italy? I, I don't know. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know. Um, maybe it's me. <laughs> I know only that there are carpenters, but I don't know if... Mm. Yes, I suppose that they are specialized in okay. particular... Okay. All right. I'm I'm going to attempt to talk to Kansu. Kansu, are you there? Are you really here, Kansu? Okay, she's been knocked in and out of the class all, all for the last 45 minutes. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's the problem. Okay. So many things are working, are not working. No electricity or no hot water. Uh, Alberto, I, I don't know if you heard our last problem. We're talking about hiring many workers because we have many broken things at our hotel. Yeah. Can you think of any other solution, anything else we need to do? Uh, about the, this problem? No. Yeah, all we the have to broken things yeah no, we have to to join uh, a good group of professional and, and repair it I don't okay. know uh, uh, it's, it's probably we we have to uh, we have to control uh, for uh, for nothing no for nobody to broke the the things, but I don't know. Ah, okay. Moving Perhaps forward, the, the staff. If the yeah. staff, uh, if the staff is uh, is angry with the with the hotel, perhaps it could be they they have broken the. <laughs> Ah, it's on the roof and the on the floods. <laughs> right, we know we have an angry staff. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's linked. All is linked in life. It's, it, it's all <laughs> linked. Everything's linked. Okay, I I tend to agree with that philosophy. Well, if so, then we have to think about the future and take preventative measures we have to prevent preventative measures we have to do something what can we do to make sure people aren't breaking things or stealing things 
what, what do you think? Uh, Alberto, uh, what do you think? Yeah, we could uh, put uh, some information paper uh, in the uh, in the flats um, and so on. Uh, reading, um, I okay. I like by be careful with the curtains. Uh, be careful with the ceiling. Or uh, be careful with okay, the, like well, the TV with the floor or with the TV. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Okay. I was trying to think of other ways that we could prevent people from deliberately breaking things or keep things from getting broken. Um, for example, I really I'm thinking of two different things, two different problems. One, we have all these things breaking. Uh, something that you guys didn't bring up. Do we have a maintenance department? Do we have a maintenance man? Do we have somebody who just fixes things? Um, we ha haven't discussed that. Every hotel, I used to be a chef in, the, in back in the United States for quite a few years. So I worked in some b big res resort hotels. Every resort hotel I ever worked in most certainly had a maintenance department two, three, even four guys, depending on the size of the hotel, who did nothing but fix things year-round. And do, like, gardening work, take care of the plants, mow the lawns, all the regular things that have to be done. Um, that's something we didn't even talk about. Most bigger companies have maintenance, any kind of company, manufacturing even, whatever. Another thing, if we're worried about our staff, you know, if our staff are angry with us, okay, uh, they may break things or they may steal things, okay? How can we stop that from happening? Pe um, of course, when people break things or steal things, Marta, do you have any ideas how we could prevent theft? And uh, uh, in hotels, usually, uh, I don't know, TV or air air dryers are uh, only locked. You know, are fixed uh, on the table. Are uh, you know, um, technique um, repairman. Uh, and the maintenance service uh, always checks, uh, always check for for them for the for TVs or hair dry uh, hair dryers um, before the client the customer sleeps sleeps. So um, and if they find uh, find them broken, they charge it, charge them. Okay. Mm, okay. So. You're talking about locking things down, double checking them. You're talking about making some security changes, right? Yes. <clears throat> now, there's an area we haven't talked about at all security. Uh, that is one example that we can use to improve our security locking things down and make, making sure rooms are checked before uh, the customers check out. Absolutely. Uh, hello, Chow. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks. Welcome to the class. Where are you from, Chow? I'm from China. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, have you been viewing the class? Do you know uh, what we're... Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, you know what we're doing in this class. Uh, to 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 practice a situation. Yes. Exactly. Very good. Yes. Our situation is we are managers of a hotel. 
Welcome, yeah. Chow. You are now the manager of a hotel. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> okay. We just started talking about security in the hotel. What are things that we can do to improve security? I to identify the per people who went to go to my hotel and oh that is not a good idea and put the <laughs> camera to put the camera more camera in the hotel and hire more security people how to uh, say that well that was pretty good Chow. all right um, yeah, something we have not talked about at all. Uh, we have staff that is angry with us. We have br many broken TVs. W why? We haven't really talked about security. Chow says maybe we should think about getting cameras. Closed circuit cameras or CCC, uh, CCTV cameras. Closed circuit television cameras. And he mentioned perhaps getting security or guards. Chow, would you yes. would you like would you like to be the head of security in our I would hotel? like to. Uh, okay, I'm I'm going to appoint you the head of security. <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> Your pleasure. Great. Okay. We have a new head of security, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Marta Alberto. I'd like to introduce Chow, our new head of security. <laughs> Hi, Chow. Okay, we're good. Okay, one more problem here. Let's talk about this last problem. I'm going to share this with you. Uh, Chow, would you mind reading this for me? Can you see it? Yes. The hotel is difficult to get to. There are no buses coming from the airport to the hotel. The tax from the airport to the hotel is very expensive. Mm hmm. All right. Okay. So it's hard to get from the airport to the hotel. What What can we do regarding this problem? Maybe we can develop my our own bus buses or. Okay. Uh, Yes. Like a shuttle bus. Yes. Usually, often a a bus that we may have going from the airport to the hotel, something like that. We call it a shuttle bus. All right. And uh, how about if security drives the shuttle bus? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Because yeah, oh! secu okay. security have their own work. Oh, uh, job. Well, who would you suggest? Who's going to drive the shuttle bus? Um, the, the people in my room, or I mean, the general situation. Yeah, who should be in charge of the shuttle bus and the shuttle bus schedule? What part of the hotel? Security, uh, maintenance, front desk. We we can hire a bus driver. A driver, okay, a yes. specific driver. All right, okay. Um, all right. Is there anything else we can do to make travel from the airport back and forth to the airport any easier? Marta, do you have any ideas? Um, we can make an agreement with other hotels, maybe, to develop a, you know, a bus tour, a bus that drops clients at every hotel. Ah, very good. Finally, we're getting economical ideas, ways to save a little money. So far in this meeting, all we've done is spend money. Um, right, okay, if we share a shuttle bus service with other hotels, it will be much more economical. Okay, I think that's a great idea, actually. Uh, okay, Marta, I've had a question. 
for you, uh, all class, since you were the first one here. And now I can't help myself anymore. Your uh, icon or your avatar, whatever, for, for Google, yeah. what is that? Uh, it's a photo of, uh, of sand, of a circle made in the sand. Really? Yeah, can you see? I don't know because why Google displays it as a circle, but it was uh, a frame a photo uh, with okay. Google sand. I think that you could see also small, small pieces of wood in the sand. Okay, I thought there was an insect. <laughs> no, <laughs> just sand. <sighs> Oh, okay. I, I, well, I thought there was an insect sitting on like a plug with the water. <laughs> no. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Chow. Yes. Uh, Chow, have you ever stayed in a resort hotel? Resort hotel. Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, resort hotel. Well, okay. Um, for example, a normal hotel in the city. Obviously, you would have a room, and you know, hopefully, yeah, maybe a nice room, and, but but that's it. A resort hotel would often be like our resort hotel is at the beach, uh, where a resort hotel is. You go to the hotel as the destination. The hotel has things like maybe a golf course or it's on the ocean or you go to the, that hotel to be at the hotel if I go to Shanghai yes I'm going to stay in a hotel but I don't go just to stay in the hotel I go to see Shanghai a resort hotel you specifically make plans to have your vacation at that hotel Usually there's activities or things that you can do. Surfing or wind sailing or swimming or whatever. Uh, have, you ever, have you ever been to a, a resort hotel? I haven't yet, but I would like to have this experience. <laughs> well, I hope you can. They're expensive, Chow. I will tell you yes. that. Yes. <laughs> uh, I rarely... But I used to work in a, quite a few resort hotels. So that's always an option. <laughs> you just act like a guest. Uh, Marta, have you ever stayed at a resort hotel? Mm, not really. Not really? Oh, you've got to no. go. All right. Yes, yeah, I should. You should. Uh, it, it, okay. Alberto? Are you, are you there, Alberto? I have some problems with the Hangout today. All right, we've only got a, a minute or so left. Chow, yes. uh, you haven't stayed in a hotel, but if you could travel anywhere, where would you like to travel? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the Europe, North Europe. Where? New York? Or Europe? Uh, Europe, North Europe. Europe. Okay. Well, wait. where? Spain, Italy. <laughs> um, maybe both. Maybe both. I would like to travel around. Ah, uh, yes. tra travel around Europe. Did you Did you hear that, Alberto? Chow's coming to your house. Alberto, are you there? <laughs> okay. Uh, we've only got a few seconds left. Marta, if you could travel anywhere, where would you like to travel to? Uh, I would like to travel to North and South America. Well, that's, that's like half the planet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the entire Western Hemisphere. Wait a second. Uh, okay. Anywhere in specific, uh, in particular? Uh, Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Why? Uh, because I've always wanted to to participate to to the carnival. 
Me too. I'll yeah. meet you there next year. It's already over with this year. No, All right, I, 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 want, I want to go for the Olympics, for the Olympic Games. Oh, oh, okay, right. Yeah, the Olympic Games are coming up. And the World Cup. Lots yes. of things going on in Brazil. Okay, guys, um, I'm out of time, and I have to make way for the next class. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Marta. Thank you, Thank Thank you Alberto. Thank you uh, so much for joining me.